Good morning. Good morning to all. Am I audible? Good morning. Am I audible? Okay, okay. Good morning. After two minutes, we will start because this is some more people let come. Okay, good morning. Now I will start. So today we will be no, uh, we'll be learning about the uh, BLTC motor control. Okay. So again I am telling we are doing this. I am showing whatever the things I will be showing. That is for scalar control. Vector control we will see later. Already I have elaborated. Mostly it will be clear to you all for induction motor i already elaborated this for this also it will be same only. okay so as i was telling basically if you recall the first class it is nothing one magnet is moving and another magnet should is following that that is the motor in case of bldc motor also there will be several poles okay in the straighter side <coughs> similarly in rotor side also will be the same so which pole is where near to which which stator rotor pole is near to which stator pole that is to be predicted and once you are able to predict that then in that particular pole you uh, particular coil stator coil you apply that uh, voltage so that it will come exactly aligned with that pole so every time this position measurement is means position 
is very important. Rotor position, estimation or prediction, it is very important. So for BLDC machine, I am not going in details of its construction and all. Today I will show you how to operate it. Same thing you can do who are uh, uh, among you who are uh, student they uh, they have the facility in the lab some research scholar they are doing some research so those people can try these things okay so bldc construction and all it is simple only it is like a dc machine only but there will be no brush that's why it is brushless dc machine You see, I will be, I, I have done uh, because a lot of things we are doing but we don't have proper record. So some maybe two, three years back, there was a, uh, there was a project, I think it is a DSP project or something, the, uh, the, this is from SRM University. So they want to push the power, PV power to grid through this BLDC machine. Source is solar cell. So for that we used, uh, I will elaborate the technique so that that is 48 volt DC, uh, 1 kilowatt. <coughs> okay. So this motor only that control whatever it has made. So that today we, we are going to discuss that one. How it was done? You see, he said this is one motor. Sorry. This is my BLDC. And in between that BLDC and the induction machine, there will be a clutch. It is called overrun clutch. Then it is connected to one induction machine. Then that induction machine is current to the grid, connected to the grid. This BLDC, this is the controller. Okay. And this controller, controller plus power electronics. This controller supply is coming from the PV cell. Okay, in between some DC to DC converter is there. So how this power is pushed? Normally you can do that synchronization through uh, through your power electronics and all. But they wanted in this way, so that's why I am telling. First, if you if you recall, already we learned how that induction machine can be used as in induction motor can be used an asynchronous alternator so if the synchronous speed is s ns so if you operate this machine more than that then it will push the power so what it has uh, it was done first both the machine bldc as well as induction machine it was switched on that time the clutch both machines are uh, decoupled means this class overrun clutch is a uh, electromagnetic clutch so that supply is not given to the clutch so now the both the shaft are rotating in an independent way now we are measuring we know how to capture the we know how to capture the rpm we we learn already uh, that quadrature pulse counting so from the quadrature pulse counting we measure this rpm and this rpm also <coughs> okay 
Now say if there is a mismatch between these two RPM, you adjust with this VLDC controller that you bring the same speed. Then you apply the clutch. Now both the things are coupled together. Now say to operate this induction machine as alternator, you need your speed should be slightly higher than that synchronous speed. Say that is N1. Say. Now by controlling the speed of this BLDC machine, you just bring that speed to N1. Then it will pump the power. <coughs> These things only it was done. Okay, with that BLDC machine. As I was telling, for measuring the rotor position, this hall sensor is used. It's called hall effect sensor. So, what should be the connection? If you take that connection, so from the left side, there will be three wire coming out. Okay. So, the left most you should be connected to the VCC and the right most you that is the output and the in between it is ground always better you connect one 10k 10k in between in between this one okay so output will be taken from this point and this point it is going to the controller okay so this is the hall hall sensor connection every bldc motor will be coming with this hall sensor uh, installed in built because you, you need to as i as i told you need to know the uh, you need to know the uh, rotor position <coughs> so as i was telling you can take some silicon bridge means the the three phase bridge this will come in a single device nowadays or you can choose the discrete device also based on your say here for my case i have used 48 so mainly that switches will come above 600 volt so you can take one bridge like this and you connect like this and for the driver because this this is the controller this is your microcontroller this bridge are also this is uh, ready made available and this driver also ready made available is a tlp commonly used TLP 250 this is the common driver this is opto isolator basically using that you can connect this one these are ready made available this three phase inverter bridge and uh, driver uh, dr to drive that uh, things that inverter the TLP 6 TLP these things are available in the market ready made this bridge may be costing around uh, uh, within a thousand rupees this is also around five to six hundred or something like that you can get it okay now you connect these things in this fashion hmm. so this is the connection so these are the hall sensor this is the hall sensor and from this microcontroller these are the firing pulses going to the inverter leg so now this is the sequence if you see the so this is the hall sensor to detect it is near it nearer to a phase b phase and c phase this is the hall sensor so when it is nearing so that time it will come as high if it is away it will become zero so these are the total state <coughs> it will come 
so if you recall the h breeze there is one upper switch each leg there will be an upper switch and there is there will be one lower switch so if i get this sequence then c phase upper should be on and b phase lower should be on for this sequence phase a upper and phase b lower should be on so these are the total sequence if you know the uh, construction of the machine then you can uh, make it things these things you can understand very easily hmm. it's very simple now you see let us understand the current flow so if the hall sensor output is coming as 100 then phase a upper that means this switch and phase b lower this switch will be one now how current will be flowing this 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 and this got it now we can we take one more sequence say 0 1 0 so this is b phase upper that means this one and c phase lower and this one then how current will be flowing this this then b it is going then c it is coming okay so basically what is that scalar we are doing as, as I, I am telling we are doing scalar control actually this technique this control is applicable for reluctance reluctance machine also variable reluctance or switch reluctance more or less it will be same only so basically in the controller we have to implement this all six step if you are able to do that then you can operate your real machine okay so normally what i will do i will be doing i will be giving because i i need to control the speed if i completely on then full voltage will be going to that motor so it will be rotated it will be rotating at rated speed but i want to change the speed so what i will do i will always apply pwm to the top phase and bottom phase i will close completely i will close it okay same thing circuit will be through but the for every sequence both the coils will be experiencing the pwm rather than the full voltage so pwm basically it will be averaged when it will be averaged so you can vary the voltage and your speed can be controlled so let us see that code same thing i will be who are working in vldc and all exactly whatever i have told you can try by your own at least some people can try and i am i have not written the code in code composer studio or something else because you people so many people are asking me in arduino arduino that's why i selected arduino only but uh, i have not used that uh, library function but whatever i have uh, i am using that already i have explained in every what are the things required i explained already so what i am telling you take one vldc machine you take one inverter bridge you take one uh, tlp driver and you can take one uh, uh, Arduino, any Arduino or any Atmel 8-bit controller, anything, which whichever you are preferring. 
so in your lab definitely some uh, regulated power supply is there you, you connect with this then now I will be explaining the code so let us see that code now you see in that code so this is for uh, this pin I will be using for a bottom switch this will I very quickly I wrote so B bottom switch and this is C bottom switch okay and here you see I have used timer 3 of at mega 2560 because it has three uh, output three compare uh, output compare register so this settings already you, you know already I told uh, uh, during uh, PWM generation how to configure the timer for various modes already I told so I'm not explaining this now I am reading because I have used library function for as uh, because quickly I written so that's why but you should not write because you can power electronics as I told you should write your register level code because the latency and all these things can be um, controlled in better way so I am reading the whole sensor value and simply I am calculating this 4 into H3 uh, 2 into H2 plus 1 into H1 to get the state it is nothing say you take 1 1 0 so if you put here 0 here 1 here 1 so 2 plus 1 3 so that's the state 3 will come say if it is 0 1 1 so you put here 1 4 into 1 is 4 2 into 1 is 2 4 plus 2 is 6 so that things only coming or you can write if uh, h1 is 1 h2 is 0 and h3 is 0 then s is equal to 5 like that 6 if else you can write that is also okay now i am using the switch case so this 3a 3a is for a top three B is B top three C is C top as I was telling so here I have used a fixed duty cycle but in that to control the duty cycle you can use one potentiometer and that you can connect to the one ADC channel and you can read it and you can map it to from ADC to the PWM resolution you can map it so that if you rotate the potentiometer the duty cycle of the PWM will change okay so now the case one means sequence one you see in the uh, table sequence one means A phase upper and B phase lower you see that's why I have given A phase top and this is D, as I written D2 is D2 is B bottom remaining everything is off now coming to case 2 case 2 means B phase upper you see that's why I given here this is B top and C lower you see this is C top C bottom like that way I have made all the combination and if you <coughs> upload this code 
and if you run with that setup your motor will rotate okay so to show you i have captured some uh, web forms is it this is the web form for fs top You see, this is the this blue is I, I, I am giving the PWM here, and the bottom is completely on. But this uh, uh, this line is coming due to some noise. This is the noise because if you connect the ground, then it this will be uh, vanished. Okay, so the uh, for that particular uh, instant, it is happening like this. So first I connected the oscilloscope and slightly rotating the shaft of the machine and uh, capturing these things too from the uh, microcontroller. You see now it is, it is full voltage. In this situation the machine will rotate at rated speed. Similarly, this is B B B phase. <coughs> How the B top and bottom is coming. You see here one interesting thing. If B phase bottom and top both are on at a time, then what will happen? It will short again. You see both of the things are never on together because we are now <coughs> sensing the position okay now this is the waveform i have taken for all the cases top phase for all the phase top switch these are the switchings switching going on okay So this was the thing because I will uh, because today is the last class so that's why I uh, I will uh, take 10 to 15 minutes to answer your question okay so who are working with power electronics I would like to request this is the board this is C2000 one board and uh, one uh, Arduino anyone then one oscilloscope because whatever the waveform i have shown you for that this is the scope i have used this is the scope you can use it as data logger as well as uh, data logger as well as uh, your uh, as oscilloscope also so i would like to request who are fond of this kind of work if you really want to do they can keep one uh, like this device okay so now this is the time for your for the entire because now 15 minutes are there I kept it for your question so now um, I would like to I'll be happy to answer your question 
please you can ask because i tried my level best within the short period to give you the glimpse of motor control so mainly for electric vehicle application this vltc motor and nowadays as i told the uh, induction motors are also uh, used so both the control how to make it or how to implement it from the commercially available drive that also for this bldc also for bldc also the drives are available in the market uh, within uh, three to four thousand five thousand rupees based on your rating you can bring it there will be hall sensor input you connect it directly hall sensor vcc and ground that also it will be there you connect it input dc also it will be there you connect it <coughs> motor three phase connection also it will be there you connect it then for the speed control there will be some settings then in the speed control uh, input you can give the a pwm signal straight or you can use the internal potentiometer to control the speed or you can connect external potentiometer all these options are there your machine will rotate how the bus bar is insulated actually uh, uh, normally i have one uh, general purpose inverter uh, i will tell you bus bar for the insulation uh, uh, insulating the bus bar we have used one composition it is a silicon based composition uh, that is dow corning the manufacturer of that silicon paste is dow corning it was pasted on the top which having very high uh, insulation resistance and dielectric strength and definitely the for bldc application we are not going to uh, we are not uh, uh, this uh, voltage should not uh, will not go more than 2 to 300 volt how we can build our own drive for build motor? i have shown the entire thing i have shown to you you purchase one inverter leg uh, sorry inverter bridge three phase bridge you purchase one controller you purchase one tl 250 driver one bldc motor and whatever the uh, method i shown you you do that it will run working of quadrature type hall effect sensor okay that uh, uh, i have not uh, included here because most of the um, uh, uh, BLDC motor we will it, it will come uh, as I have shown to you and today so many servo and BLDC they are coming with uh, that uh, absolute encoder it is much more better so this I have not kept in our course but the quadrature type any quadrature wave how it is work already I have explained you any quadrature wave how it is work I have explained why it is quadrature 90 degree apart I forget to fill the number okay. if I change the DC voltage no no that's why if you normally if you take one DC motor it's a DC machine you take any DC machine now input voltage change means what speed will vary or not speed will vary so it is a brushless DC machine I have explained that the top that's why the top phase I am applying the PWM and the bottom phase I am making completely close short 
so basically it is giving you, you are applying pwm to for any sequence of the uh, whole, any hall effect sequence set of hall effect, effect sequence we are giving uh, pwm what is the grounding or arc and its purpose no, no, that is different grounding is grounding means what it's a common and arcing means if there is any floating is there it will be nullified so normally uh, this uh, any uh, vfd fed system that is normally it is taken as ungrounded in the blvc motor i mean how the voltage is varied by changing the modulation voltage. Already I shown in the uh, PWM, if you change the duty cycle, how to change the duty cycle, that already I have shown when I shown you the uh, uh, PWM. Yeah, circuit will be same, but uh, that will be that I I thought that I will include, but it will be uh, because time is short. I have not circuit will be more or less same, but the switching sequence will change. If you know the basic things of uh, uh, firing the IGBT or MOSFET. And this uh, timer, PWM, ADC control, and all these things, then uh, you can make all these things. Actually, there is a. It is my uh, plan. Actually, I have to talk to Pancake also in this. That I want to uh, do the same thing practically. Because this theoretical, because I have not shown the exact thing. If I can, uh, I would be able to show you the output and the real connection. Then it will be more excited to you. Yes, now the machine is rotating. Whatever we have learned, that I am seeing. That I am planning. But this for this, uh, because I cannot do all these things from my lab. Uh, because they are all these things are restricted. I am working in a very confidential project of uh, uh, and in a very uh, confidential department so i cannot do that so i am planning to do it in uh, pantech factory so they are uh, all the motor dc motor induction motor uh, stepper motor servo motor bldc motor a reluctance motor all i will make one one uh, one one uh, series from the uh, hardware software implementation operation everything it will be uh, shown to you uh, in front of you no 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 not required No, no, I have not told that. Uh, I have not told that it is not. I I told it is used, but nowadays people are replacing this BLDC to induction machine because it is much more economic. It is uh, it is much more uh, economic compared to BLDC machine. A same rating on induction machine is much more cheaper. Okay, so for that, uh, people are going nowadays towards induction machine only.
any other question so i think it's somehow uh, i don't know how much of you how many people uh, you have understood the things but i tried why direct current cannot direct current cannot rotate the wheel i'm not getting your question it is dc only we are applying dc only inverter circuit inverter circuit it is a this is the inverter circuit this part is the inverter circuit it's simple it is available in the market okay so it was my pleasure to be with you all and uh, my sincere thanks to pantek especially to mr malayappan to give me the opportunity to share my knowledge to the new learners and the professionals so i will be glad to continue this kind of sessions many more so this is the critical uh, because there is uh, outside this pandemic it is getting increased so i would like to request all of you to be because now pongal is coming shankranti is coming so after that the next week there will be a possibility to uh, peak of this pandemic so i will request all of you to please be at home please don't mingle with the uncontrolled people unless otherwise very necessary don't go out move out from the home in this way we can control this pandemic and surely it will be over and we will get our earlier world as early as possible so we will see you all once again uh, i pray to god for everybody's good health be happy stay safe Take care. Bye.